Hi everyone, this video will show you where you can unlock Finley, how to unlock him. This is one of the best NPCs to unlock because, well, it can give you some really amazing loot. Uh, and I'm going to give you some important tips that you must do, especially if you are playing uh, with several characters. You already created different realms, for example. So it can be either both if you are different characters with different realms or just created different realms. This is definitely something you should follow. So first of all, a few words regarding this NPC. First of all, you will appear... Um, in your world between 8 a.m. and 12 a.m., basically all day. But based on my understanding, this is based on your local time. Because if I look at the clock, uh, based on the local time in the game itself, it actually was before 8 a.m. that I actually saw him. And he only spawns in Saturdays. Again, real-time Saturdays. You don't have the option to see which day is it in the game. Uh, so again, on Saturdays, make sure to log in and check his stuff. You basically lots of stuff, even some uh, cursed items, and I don't know, maybe even unique items. I haven't gotten a chance to actually find one, but basically lots of items that you can find and browse through them. You're going to be lots of different items and armor, so usually you find something that can be either good for your specific character or other characters that you have created. Now, it's not cheap, but again, considering the fact that you, know, you can really find lots of stuff here, maybe you're going to find something that you need, it's worth paying for it. Keep in mind, once you buy an item, it's gone from the inventory. And even if you bring another character to the same realm, you won't be able to buy it because it's not going to reset the items. It's still, you're going to see that these items that you already bought are no longer there. So before I show you how you can, where you can find them and how to unlock them, first of all, on the map where it actually exists. So this is the location where you can find it inside Sacrament. So let's say you start with Sacrament uh, Spawn Point. Uh, you need just to go straight, go straight up, and then turn right here before the stairs, and there it will be. Now, if you inspect the sign near the door where you actually located, you can actually get a hint where it actually spawns the time and the day. So, Finley's cabinet for rare and magnificent items, you can see. Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. Again, not 12 p.m. It's really from 8 a.m. till midnight. Now, I did check. Again, I went with another character to the same realm. And basically, it has the same items. Basically, uh, this NPC will be tied for the realm. And if I buy something and come back with another uh, character, those items that I bought with the previous characters won't be there. And what it is is what it is. So if I buy another thing, another item with this character... Uh, basically won't be able to buy them again with another character. So basically, if you again low on, uh, for example, uh, gold and you want to buy something, just bring the character that has more gold so you can buy these items. Now, for those of you who don't have patience, I'm just going to show you the location on the map where uh, you're going to find him. If you want to see where the key is, just and where to gather manually by foot, step by step, uh, I'm going to show you. So this is the location on the map where you should go and finally going to be here and basically uh, at this location you just need to uh, climb up but you need the key so continue watching if you want to know how to get to the key but basically this is where it's going to be located all right so let's go I'm going to speed it up a bit right, again we're going to go uh, north part of the map Uh, the issue is with the windows, so I'll just ignore it. It's all a matter of now this is a shorter version. Because I already unlocked the door. I'm going to show you the longer version in a moment. Again, you can skip it if you already know all together, don't need to watch it. So here the door opens for me so I can just get in. I'm going to show you how you can get her without it. Uh, if the door is closed. Make sure to uh, use the checkpoint just in case you die or whatever.
once you reach the point, uh, all right, you can actually just uh, get inside and make sure to kind of uh, tick it. So just in case you die, you can start again. The longer version in the moment. Because if, if you follow this one, I'm just going to show you uh, where you can get the key, where you can find them. Basically, you need to t turn the lever. Uh, once you turn the third one, you can actually go up. You can interact with him and say the door is locked. You need to find the key. Now we're going to get to the key. I recommend saving at the top because you can fall down, uh, you know, it can happen. So save here. Then just go back. All right, and then we're going to go here. It's not really visible where you should do it, but once you fall down, you're going to see it. So we need to fall down just a bit, maybe to the uh, right here. You need to fall on this ledge. Now there's an option also to jump on these uh, moving parts, but again, this is not the thing that we need, all right? So don't do it. We need to go up where the plank is located. I'm just showing you, you can actually go there as well, but don't do it. Go up and you see the plank, we need to go for the plank. Then you need to cross it and that's the key, all right? That's the key that we need in order to open the cell there to free up the NPC. Now we need to go back. There are different ways to go back. You can go from the these platforms. So that's it. Now you need to uh, talk with him, open the door and talk with him. I can feel the wind of the world again. Ah, oh, my thanks, Serum. Now keep in mind, he won't immediately there, right? Only on Saturdays between 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. And again, real world time, right? Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. And of course, based on my understanding, this is just your local time. Told you and once you reach the place where I show you, you can interact with him. And again, for each realm, he's going to show different items. So it's going to be random items for each realm. So if you unlock it in a different realm, it's, going to, it's not going to have the same items for the other uh, NPC of another realm. It's going to be different, which is cool. This is why you should unlock uh, several of them if you have different realms. And you're probably, again, going to get it if you're going to progress. And you can just visit, uh, visit with each realm so you can see all the items. Maybe you're going to find something good. All right, now basically again this is close to uh the city uh if you move the longer one you you know you have the gate uh locked we need to do another route so you can see it's locked so now i need to uh go a bit back climb here near the hut So this is another way to get there. After that, you can, of course, open the gate. But if you haven't done so, this is another way to get there. Right. There's a puzzle element there. We need to align the cranes so you can actually jump on the platforms, uh, lower, the, lower the ladder, and then you can need to align them. And then you can just jump in and unlock it. Huh, that's cool, actually. I found another one. I already lowered the ladder. And basically, I can I'd be able to just jump on the cranes. 
And again, just to unlock the checkpoint, just in case you fell, you can actually start again from there. All right, you can see the cranes where they actually position them. And that's it, everything else is the same. And that's about it. Uh, remember, if unlock it with all the in all the different realms. Again, if you have a character that doesn't have enough money, bring the another one into the realm and buy it. Uh, this is the cool thing. Yours, you have several options to actually get different things when you have several realms, which I have four, which is great. Uh, I had to find anything unique, by the way. If you got a unique, let me know in the comment section below. But overall, it's a really cool thing to have. And again, it appears only one day on Saturday between 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. Good luck, have fun. I'll see you on the next video and also consider subscribing. Cheers.